Today, a Dalton High School teacher sat in jail while his students returned to class. Good evening, I'm Catherine Marchand. I'm Kim Chap, and tonight we're continuing to dig deeper into Randall Davidson's past after Wednesday's chaos. Allison Levine joins us now live to tell us what she learned today. Allison. Kim, Catherine, yeah, today we received this report from the from the Dade County Sheriff's Department. Now in it, it details an incident from August 2016 where Randall Davidson allegedly set his car on fire. Deputies took Davidson to a local hospital for a mental health evaluation shortly after that and confiscated three of his guns, later returning them to his spouse. Today, Dalton Public Schools told us they didn't know about this incident, but they did know about two others involving Dalton police. Now the question remains, should Davidson have been in the classroom where police say he allegedly fired a weapon on Wednesday? He is not a monster. To Dalton High School senior Gilberto Perez, Randall Davidson is more than a teacher. He's like the father I've never had. So when Perez heard the sound of a gunshot ring out from Davidson's classroom, he was worried. My first thought was, Mr. Davidson, is he okay? Never did he imagine that Davidson was the one with the gun. He would not harm us. He would like rather take a bullet for us instead of hurting us. The person Dalton police describe as delusional is a stranger to Perez, but he does know one thing. He was fit to teach. In the state of Georgia, fitness to teach means a few different things. One of the first things, of course, we want to make sure is that they are academically prepared. Judy Gilrath is the superintendent for Whitfield County Schools, a neighboring district to the one overseeing Dalton High. Gilrath says mental and physical health are also factors considered for fitness to teach. In Georgia, all new teachers must submit to a background check before being hired. They also then will go through a background check. They, they have a finger, do fingerprints and uh, anything that they have been arrested for or uh, any type of crimes or whatever would show up. They go through the same process every five years. According to Dalton Public Schools, Davidson's last background check was in spring 2016. Gilver says that as long as the teacher has never been arrested, as was the case with Davidson's 2016 run-in with Dade County deputies, the school has no way of knowing about a run in with police. Now, in the days following that Wednesday incident, the principal of Dalton High School did tell us that he also believes that Davidson was fit to teach. Reporting live in Dalton, Allison Levine, News Channel 9. All right, Allison, thank you. Davidson waived his right to a first court appearance yesterday. He's still in the Whitfield County Jail on no bond. He's expected in court on 